Welcome to our channel. Options and ideas. Please watch the complete presentation. It's an informative presentation. Please like the video and subscribe our channel. It will motivate us. Have a nice day. Train or fresh hire which is better for big and small organization presented by options and ideas. Introduction in today's competitive business landscape. One of the most critical decisions organizations face is how to build and nurture their workforce. The debate between training existing talent and hiring fresh talent is a perennial one. Should you invest in upskilling your current employees or bring in new blood with fresh perspectives? This decision can shape your organization's future. In this presentation, we'll explore the nuances of this dilemma, weighing the advantages and drawbacks for each path. Join us as we navigate the train or fresh hire conundrum and help you chart the course for your organization's success. Now let's see what are we going to cover throughout this video content are as follows 1. Talent Dilemma 2. Pros and Cons of Training 3. Pros and Cons of Hiring Fresh Talents 4. Factors to Consider 5. Conclusion. Let's talk about Talent Dilemma The decision between training existing employees and hiring fresh talent presents a complex challenge for organizations. This dilemma arises due to several factors and considerations, each with its own set of implications. 1. Skill Gap 2. Cost 3. Cultural Fit 4. Innovation 5. Time Sensitivity 6. Long-Term Goals 7. Employee Morale 8. Results allocation The challenge lies in finding the right balance that aligns with the organization's specific needs, goals, and constraints. The decision should be data-driven, strategic, and adaptable to evolving circumstances. Pros and cons of training Pros of training existing employees 1. Familiarity with company culture. Existing employees are already familiar with the organization's culture, values, and processes which can lead to a quicker integration into new roles or projects. 2. Cost Efficiency Training existing employees is often more cost-effective than hiring new talent, as it eliminates recruitment and onboarding expenses. There are many more pros except these two like, retention and loyalty, faster productivity and institutional knowledge. Now let's see cons of training existing employees. 1. Limited Skill Set Existing employees may lack certain skills or knowledge required for new roles or projects, leading to a potential skills gap. 2. Resistance to change. Some employees may resist change or new learning, making it challenging to implement new strategies or technologies. Except these two there some of them like, time-consuming, risk of employees' departure, not suitable for all situation, potential for biases. Ultimately, the decision to train existing employees should be based on a careful assessment of the specific needs, goals, and circumstances of the organization. Pros and cons of hiring fresh talents First let's look through pros of hiring fresh talent. 1. New perspectives. Fresh talent often brings fresh perspectives and innovative ideas to the organization, which can lead to creative solutions and improved processes. 2. Specialized skills. New hires may possess specialized skills or knowledge that existing employees lack, providing a valuable skill set boost. And there are many more like flexibility, diversity, minimal preconceptions. Now let's see cons of hiring fresh talent. 1. Recruitment costs. Hiring externally can be expensive due to recruitment, onboarding, and initial training costs. 2. Longer integration period. New hires often require a longer period to integrate into the organization, build relationships, and become fully productive. As well as these are many more like cultural misalignment, limited organizational knowledge, disruption, employee development, uncertainty. The decision to hire fresh talent should align with the organization's specific goals, needs, and resources. It's essential to carefully consider these pros and cons in the context of your organization's unique circumstances. Factors to consider Subtitle. Making informed talent decisions 1. Budget 2. Time frame 3. Specific skill requirement 4. Organizational culture 5. Long-term goals 6. Employee morale 7. 
Resource Allocation 8. Risk Tolerance. These factors collectively shape the decision-making process, helping organizations choose the most suitable approach for their talent needs. It's essential to weigh these factors carefully to make informed and strategic talent decisions. At last let's talk about the conclusion in the pursuit of organizational success. The decision between training existing employees and hiring fresh talent is not one size fits all. Both paths have their merits and challenges. Big or small, every organization must carefully assess its unique circumstances, considering factors like budget, time frame, skill requirements, and culture. For some, investing in the growth and development of existing talent is the key to fostering loyalty, leveraging institutional knowledge, and maintaining cultural coherence. For others, fresh talent brings innovation, specialized skills, and adaptability. Ultimately, the decision hinges on aligning your talent strategy with your long-term goals and resource capabilities. Be adaptable, open to change, and ready to reevaluate as circumstances evolve. There is no definitive better choice. Success lies in choosing the right path for our organization's journey. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video then like, subscribe and comment. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. Please go through our services and contact us for any services required by you. Our contact details are mentioned at the end of this video. Have a nice day.